Well, let's pop straight into it, everyone. Country music star Daryl Singletary has passed away due to causes that have not been officially announced. Fox News says Singletary played shows at this past weekend with nothing appearing to be actually wrong. Singletary is survived by his wife Holly, his parents and four children. He was only 46. Very sad. Tony Award winning actor Mandy Patinkin now has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The 2,629th star was unveiled Monday morning. At the ceremony, Patinkin thanked his parents for allowing him to pursue his dreams. He is also known for his roles on the big screen and on Broadway. Some of his film credits include The Princess Bride, Alien Nation, and most recently, Wonder. His, he's currently one of the stars on the TV show Homeland, which is about to start its seventh season. Hey everyone, Sex in the City actress Kim Cattrall slammed her former co-star Sarah Jessica Parker. Now Parker apparently reached out to Cattrall after the recent death of her brother. But Cattrall responded on Instagram over the weekend saying, I don't need your love or support at this tragic time. She also accused Parker of using the tragedy to restore her nice girl image and told Parker to leave, basically, you know what, leave her alone. There have been rumours for years that Parker and Cottrell did not get along on the set, which Parker denies. Wow, comedian Amy Schumer made it clear over the weekend that she is in a relationship. She posted a picture of herself kissing professional chef Chris Fisher on Instagram. The couple attended a 60th birthday party for comedian Ellen DeGeneres together. Schumer split from Ben Han Han Hanix. Uh, last summer, and there has been speculation around her relationship with Fisher since they were spotted together in November. Fisher is the author of the award-winning uh, The Beetlebung Farm Cookbook. Gotcha. James Hetfield is ready for his big screen close-up, and the Metallica frontman is set to co-star in Extremely Wicked, Shocking Evil, and The Vile. Vale or Vile, I should say, he'll play a highway patrolman who was the first officer to arrest infamous serial killer Ted Bundy. Zac Efron stars as Bundy in the true life drama, which is currently in production. Talk about a killer role. Wow. Oh, boom tish, people. Boom tish. <laughs> Well, how big is Jumanji? Welcome to the jungle. The adventure's $881 million global gross makes it Sony's third biggest worldwide release ever behind Skyfall and Spider-Man 3. And it's not done. The movie is still in the North American top five and has yet to debut in Japan. Got you. Well, guess what, everyone? Stick around straight after the break. We take a look at Lisa's trip out. The Kentucky Historical Society after the break. And later on, we're back in the kitchen at AS Eats to learn how to make chili lime chicken recipe. Mm, Stick so with good. us, everyone. You're watching Midday <laughs> Kentucky.